checking in with my big brother. I just told him that I'm having surgery. Let's see how that goes. Good morning, it is Saturday and today is my pre-op day. Um, I have to go into the office and meet with my doctor. I have to be drug test, weighed in. Um, I'm so sleepy guys. So we get all the way here and I didn't expect for my brother to be still in town. He was supposed to leave for a video shoot and decided to stay and help me um or just be there for me doing my surgery um so when i get we got into miami i came straight to where he was at his room left about 4 a.m in the morning tried to go and check into our airbnb and no key so we had to come all the way back let him get us a hotel for the night and we figure it out this morning so i'm headed to pre-op first then I figure out how I'm living arrangements. You know how you kind of think like, fuck, is this like a sign that I don't need to go? Like, uh, starting yesterday, like the flight was delayed all day. Like I literally didn't leave Memphis till about 3 p.m. Had to do a layover. I did not do layovers. It was a straight through flight. Got out of the way here. They gave us the wrong rental car. And then couldn't get into the Airbnb. Like, you know how you say, God, just send me, send me a sign. He fucking giving me a billboard. So pray for me, guys. Bye. Last two days of this, y'all. Woo. I'm going to feel with no stomach. Wait to see. Uh, we are headed to my pre-op appointment. It's scheduled for 9.45. Um, of course, you know, when you're having surgery, um, you have to have a caretaker or a companion with you. And Alicia is my caretaker. She's always down for the ride, child. We will be here approximately nine days. Um, I don't have any polish on. They told me that I couldn't have polish on my fingers, but it was okay for my toes. So we are headed in, you know, like to weigh in and to get drug tested and just go over policies and procedures for Monday morning, which is the actual day of my um, surgery. I am having a breast reduction and lift and also 360 lipo. I asked them about my arms, um, but they said that I had to ask him in person because I was already having multiple procedures done. Um, you know, over here in the US, they do have laws that prohibit a certain amount of fat um, taken out at one time. So this is case by case. Um, the doctor makes the final decision on it comes to things like this so we are headed in so i can see i'm going to dr fisher here in miami florida i'm excited but nervous just ready to get it over with Hey guys, so we just left Target doing a store run and making sure we have all of our supplies. Um, on the list, they had maxi pads, chucks, arnica gel, arnica tablets, surgical tape, baby wipes, stool softener, shower curtains, antibacterial soap, hand sanitizer, towels, Benadryl band-aids, I had to buy groceries, saltine crackers, vitamins, B complex and vitamin C, Tylenol soup, cough drops, bottled water, um, 
protein shakes like Ensure and also fruits, pineapples, berries, and strawberries. They instructed me to bring maxi dresses, oversized t-shirts, zip up sweaters and hoodies, robes, shower slides, travel size, hygiene items, toothpaste, toothbrush, mouthwash, extra compression socks, lipo phones, and also um, suggested meal ideas with salad, yogurt, protein, low carbs, oatmeal, and fruit. So we literally went to Target and got every single thing we needed on the list. Um, we are preparing for in the morning. So we are getting everything ready, set up. So when I get out of recovery, I will be good. Talk to you guys later. We are headed to the surgery. It is 6.37 a.m. And we are leaving the hotel. Headed to check in. 6.37 a.m. And we are departing from the hotel. My body feels so dry and cracky because I had to bathe in Dow antibacterial soap and put no oils or lotions on. I'm a black girl. I need the oil. Okay, y'all. Alicia will keep you updated. Dr. Fisher, he does Zoom call first, where we kind of go over our goals and post-op instructions, what to expect, um, and just if I have any questions, any extra things he needs to tell me. So we just finished up with the Zoom call, and when I first booked with him, I um, asked about getting breast reduction and lift, 360 lipo and also lipo in my arms but they told me that i had to x and get it cleared with my doctor in person because i was already getting multiple surgeries so he just approved my arms guys i'm so excited about five we picked you up uh yeah right at five o'clock made it to the hotel at six so it's been about five hours i do feel a little better than when i first left it's still really hard for me to kind of move around on my own i'm sore my arms are sore stomach and back are the sores my breast you know is pain but it's not like my the lipo areas um I've gotten up and used the restroom twice, ate some soup and drunk plenty of fluids. I tried to walk around and I got a little dizzy so I had to lay back down. I've gone to sleep twice so I feel a little better. I just checked in with my mama and my babies so we'll see what tomorrow brings.
Hey guys. It is, it's what, four days since my surgery. Today is Friday. And I have finally built up an appetite and I am craving Mexican food. So we just get to the studio with my brother and they are making tacos. I'm so excited. See you guys later. Robin Chanel. I have had the best experience with Dr. Fisher at Unique Aesthetics. Um, first off, the facility is so nice and clean. Um, Dr. Fisher did a one-on-one -on -one before the surgery, made me feel so comfortable from the anesthesiologist to the staff. And last but not least, my massage therapist. I love her. Um, I'm so satisfied with my results and you guys need to book him now. I am at Dr. Fisher's office. Today is my day that they will be releasing me to go home. It is my final massage and I will be getting my drain removed. I'm so excited surprising my massage therapist with a goodbye gift. We are headed home. Don't let your pride stop you for extra for a wheelchair now. <laughs> Hi guys, so It's been a couple days since my surgery. A few tips I give you guys: um, drink plenty of pineapple juice. It helps with the swelling. Um, I'm currently still taking my Arnica tea and applying my gel. I also bought the tablets, but I didn't take it because I was already doing the other two things to help with the bruising and swelling. Also, I did buy extra garments. Um, from Dr. Fisher, I bought an additional um, surgical bra, my one other faja, and my arm um, compression vest, just so that I can always have one extra when I'm washing the other. I stopped by Pretty Girl Curves to get a stage two faja, so I can already have it um, when I'm ready to transition in one month. So Dr. Fisher informed me not to um, continue with my massages back home until seven days after my drain had been removed. My drain was removed on Saturday, um, which was my last day before he released me to travel back home. I didn't leave till Sunday. So at the earliest, I could only get, um, I could start getting massages as of the following Saturday. I have an appointment book with Allure Studio here in Memphis for um, my massages. I went ahead and booked 10 because they have a special going on where you get 10 for um, a discounted price. So I look forward to starting back my massages because it's going to be like seven days. And in Miami, I was getting them every single day. Don't be like me, guys. Do not overbuy. Um, so I did hire a private nurse, Queen for Dance Recovery, and she um, she gave me a list of supplies that she thought would help me with my recovery. And I just bought way too much. Um, <laughs> buy, you know, what is needed, but don't overdo it like me. Uh, but I guess it was a blessing in disguise. I was able to leave like a full box full of things. Annika tea, um, pads, uh, Tylenol, pineapples, you name it. Like I left a box of things 
that I donated to Queen for this recovery um, so that she could use it for some of her dolls with upcoming surgeries. Hi guys, so I kind of wanted to do a short video um, and just rate my overall experience of my recent cosmetic surgery that I had with Dr. Fisher at Unique Aesthetics in Miami, Florida. If I had the option to do it all over again, hmm, <laughs> I probably would not do my lipo. It was very, very painful. Um, I needed more downtime than, pe than people told me. Um, if I had the option to do my breast reduction and lift again, I would do it 10 times. Anyone who knows me knows I have always wanted smaller breasts. Um, I am very satisfied with my results. I'm, I'm so thankful to my family and friends for being so supportive through this journey. I still have a ways to go. Um, and I just want to say it's 2021 and do it for you because I did this for her.